Hello everyone, welcome to Infigyan. In this very exciting video of exponential equations, we will be solving today 36 power x equal to x power 12. We are going to solve this question by three methods and at the end we will verify using Desmos also. So let's get started. I will write here method number one which is based on exponents or exponentials. Okay, I will begin with considering 1x power both sides. So I will write, let me write this equation in this form x power 12 equal to 36 power x. Now raise both sides, it's power 1 over x. So I will write x power 12 whole power 1 over x equal to 36 power x whole power 1 over x. This x will get over. So what we will get? We will have x power 12 whole power 1 over x equal to 36. Now I will use one exponent property or law. It is a power b whole power c. We can write any time a power c whole power b. So I will write x power 1 over x whole power 12 equal to 36. Okay. Now 36 can be written as 6 square. Now what I will do? I will take both, side, both sides 1 twelfth power. So it will be 1 over 12. It will be 1 over 12. So what will happen, let me write x power 1 over x, it will come out, this 12 will get over 6 raised to the power 2 times 1 over 12. So I will multiply by the same property of exponent, so it will come out 6 power 1 over 6. Now once you will compare both sides, base is 6. Exponent is same. So conclusion x will be equal to 6. Done. Second method. Second method is using law. Okay. Let me take ln both sides. So I will write that property ln 36 power x equal to ln x power 12. Now property ln a power b d ln a. So I will write x ln 36 is equal to 12 ln x. Now 36 I can write 6 square. This is what we know. So I will write x ln 6 square equal to 12 ln x. So it will become 2x, same property. This 2 will come as a multiplier coefficient. 2x ln 6 equal to 12 ln x. Divide both sides by 2. x ln 6 equal to 6 ln 6, 6 ln x. Divide both sides by x or rearrange the order. I can write ln x over x equal to ln 6 over 6. Now once we will compare both sides, again we can conclude x equal to 6. Up to this point there is no any point to discuss from both the ways using exponent as well as using logarithmic. We have done, we have calculated, we have find out x6, no problem. Third method, Lambert W function method or I will use this. Okay, so let me begin by taking ln both sides. So I will write x ln 36. Now we know the property x ln 36 it is x ln 36 equal to 12 ln x. Okay. Now objective is 
to match with the standard form of ln function or uh, lambda w function x e raised to the power x is equal to a this is our objective okay how it will possible i will write x as this x as e power ln x we can write in the exponent form ln 36 equal to 12 ln x divide by e raised to the power ln x both sides so once i will divide equation will convert into 12 times e raised to the power minus ln x ln x equal to ln 36 okay now it is coming into the form you can notice see this function is looking like x this is e raised to the power x only sign is not matching first we will divide both sides by 12 so it will become ln x times e raised to the power minus ln x equal to ln 36 over 12 done now what is missing minus sign is missing so i will put one minus sign here so i need to multiply this side also with minus sign just i am multiplying both sides by negative one why i am doing this to match this exponent as well as in the product form so now it is same now you can see it is same it is matching so i will write minus ln x the solution of this function is or you can say we can write any time x is equal to lambda w function of a constant a okay okay so minus ln x will be equal to minus of ln 36 over 12 it is with w w i missed out i will write w okay lambda w function of negative ln 36 over 12 multiply both sides by minus so ln x would be equal to minus w function negative ln 36 over 12 and in exponential form x will come out e raised to the power minus w minus ln 36 over 12 and this value is if you will check it is 1.624 which is not same earlier we have calculated x equal to 6 now this time we are getting 1.624 so it is not matching why it is not matching let's find out answer if you will draw using desmos i have drawn this graph then this function x power 1 over x it is achieving maxima at 2.718 at x equal to 0 its value tend to 0 and it is achieving its maxima this is maximum point 2.718 and then after it is dipping down and coming to value would be 0 and y equal to 6 power 1 over 6 it is constant 1.34 so now you can see this value is greater means what i am trying to say one graph is attaining maxima and then it is coming dipping down like that and this point is x equal to 2.718 and its y value is 1.44 let me write this now your right hand side is you can see 1.34 so i will draw one parallel line at y equal to 1.34 now you can see it will intersect the graph at two points this point is x equal to 6 which we calculated using exponential and ln and second point is one point what is that value uh, 1.624 see it is written okay so first value is 1.624 so this is using lambda w function so important conclusion is once function is monotonic increasing throughout the domain then we will have only one or decreasing throughout the domain we will have only one solution because there would be at most one intersection but once it is attaining maxima or minima and then it is climbing up or down then we'll have two intersections if 
that line that point is below its minima or maxima it is like that so our final result is x is equal to let me write here 6 one intersection one solution and second one is using lambda w 6 2 4 i hope you like this video thank you so much for watching do not forget to like share and subscribe bye bye till next video